No. Hey guys, it's Drea with Clueless Mama D on another takeover. You are on Auntie Tay's channel right now. If you are a visitor, you're gonna wanna hit subscribe because it's jam packed with awesome DIYs. And today I am gonna show you, without dropping it hopefully, how to make this adorable, easy peasy, and super affordable Dollar Tree DIY. It's perfect for a centerpiece, or actually I think I'm gonna be putting it in my bathroom for the Christmas season. Everything is from the Dollar Tree, and the paint I got from shopantitay.com. You can always get your coupon in the description below. And if you have fun or enjoy yourself during this video, please come visit me at Clueless Mama D. You can hit the link in the description and you can see what DIYs I've been doing over on my channel and hit subscribe and the bell so we don't lose touch. Let's do it. I'm ready to paint these jars. I love these Dollar Tree jars. When you see them, grab them. They're available almost all year long. And as always, I love my chalk paint from shopantitay.com. You can grab them in so many great colors and use the coupon code CLUELESSMAMAD to get 10% off your order. This is a little wooden plaque that is also from Dollar Tree and I've been hanging on to this for a while so I was happy to use it as the base for this centerpiece. And I wasn't sure if I was going in with ribbons or what flowers so you're gonna have to wait to see how it turns out. Well, I guess the thumbnail ruined that, <laughs> the picture on the video. Anyways, because I wanted the distressed look to have a layered effect, I went in with a darker base. This is the color Rain from shopantitay.com, and it's one of my favorite colors. If you follow my channel, you know I use it all the time. It's like a gray with a hint of blue. And once I let that dry, I went in with the Blanco white color. Gotta make sure you get the top too. For the base, I went in with the Christmas red. Oh, I just love Christmas and I love red. And I definitely wanted to have the red contrast with the white jars at this time. So I just coated that bad boy and set that aside to dry. And then once it was dry, I went in with the color Blanco again and just dry brushed all around the edges of it and a little bit on the top as well to give it another distressed look. This is such an easy DIY. Honestly guys, all my DIYs are super easy. And look how that looks. It just kind of gives a grainy effect and I think it looks great. So comment below, once I put the white on, I was like, eh, it's a little bit too plain. Do you agree? So I went in and I painted one of the jars with a Christmas red and one with a green to give it again more of a Christmas look and more of a pop and I almost broke the jar right there. Much better. So to distress, I just grabbed whatever sandpaper I had handy and just lightly distressed it. I did a little bit more pressure on the wording and around the top, but not too much on the rest of the jar. To seal it, I went in with this wax. I've put a link from Amazon in the description if you need a good wax. I like wax, you can deal with it in the home. It's non-toxic, just like chalk paint. And I just like that it's a more natural thing to seal it with. And I just took a makeup sponge from Dollar Tree and blotted it around and then smoothed it in. And it is a clear color, so it does dry with a little bit of a shine, which I like. And there you have it, the trio is done. Then to give the base a little something more, me and my little helper Jarvis decided it would be a good idea to put these logs from Dollar Tree on each side to give it a bit more of that rustic feel. And I actually really like how it centered everything. hot glue those bad boys on and again keeping things super easy super simple oh I just realized I don't know what happened to the footage of putting the twine around the top as you can see but I'm sure you guys get the point I just hot glued it a little bit on the top 
And these are actually spring flowers. I know somebody's probably cringing that I'm using spring flowers during Christmas, but I am a very thrifty DIYer and I like to use what I have available. So hopefully people who come over to my house just don't know their flowers that good, <laughs> like me. So comment below and let me know if you enjoyed this DIY. I like to go from clueless to I got this on thrifty and affordable DIYs and I'm happy with the way this turned out. I'm definitely gonna be putting it inside of my bathroom and I think it's gonna look great. And don't forget to come over and visit me on my channel, which is Clueless Memedy. I would love to have you and have you as a subscriber of mine so we keep in touch. And thank you, Auntie Tay, for having me again. Till the next takeover. Love you, lovelies. Mm -hmm.